The first documented Muslims came to New Zealand from as early as 1769, the same time as British arrivals. Early arrivals were mainly from colonial India and were described as Mohammedans or Muslims. Many were male sailors, or Laskars. The first two men on record were called Mahmud and Nasrin. In the early 1800s, some men jumped ship and settled with Maori tribes. Their descendants are known as Indo-Maori. The 1850s are believed to mark the beginning of family migration. In 1854, an Englishman, Sir John Wilson, who was born in India, brought over a dozen Indian servants and their families on a ship called Akbar and settled in a town just south of Christchurch. At this time, New Zealand respected different faiths. When a servant of Wilson's called Wazira was involved in a court case which was reported in the papers, he was allowed to swear an oath on the Qur'an rather than the Bible. There is a similar report of an Arab sailor named Mubarak from Oman who took his employer to court for physically abusing him. The British captain was censured and fined. In 1894, a father and son from Turkmenistan named Sultan Mohammed and Salah arrived in Southland and worked as street vendors before settling in Christchurch. Later, Salah opened an ice cream shop in Christchurch and was well liked for his friendly personality and became known as Ice Cream Charlie. More Muslims started arriving in New Zealand in the early 20th century, including three Gujarati men who opened a small shop and then brought their children over between 1906 and 1920. Their grandchildren would go on to become community leaders. The first Muslim organisation in New Zealand was created in 1950. The New Zealand Muslim Association in Auckland was established when there were around 200 Muslims in the country, most of whom were South Asian. In 1951, thousands of Eastern European refugees arrived. A small minority were Muslims from Albania, Yugoslavia and the Soviet Union. In 1979, one of these refugees, Mazhar Krasniki, a Kosovar Albanian, was elected president of the first national Muslim organisation, the Federation of Islamic Associations of New Zealand. Today, Muslims make up just 1% of New Zealand's 4.7 million population. But despite their small numbers, they're just as much a part of New Zealand's history as European Christians. Mm -hmm.